guys, quickly before I start the video, I just wanted to let you know that I do have some new items listed on my Poshmark, so be sure and check that out. I'll have all the information linked for you in the description box. Thank you so much to Poshmark for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Jessica. Today I'm going to be cleaning out this closet. I do share it with my husband. He has a little tiny corner over here, but we're not going to focus on that today. I'm just going to be doing my stuff. So I did do this video last year and I got rid of a lot, but this year I'm really trying to use the KonMari method and get rid of things that don't spark joy. I have a real problem holding on to things because I think that I might need them in the future or I might use them in the future and I'm really on a journey this year of learning to let things go. In last year's video I had a lot of comments of people that were just really really offended by the amount of clothes that I have which I think is super silly because like who really cares right? The thing about me is I don't go shopping very often. I really rarely go shopping for myself as far as when it comes to clothes. The clothes that I have, I've had for years and years and years. Sometimes some of these things in here, I've probably had for five years. I just don't want to let it go. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be letting go of a bunch of stuff and hopefully getting this reduced down by at least half. I am going to be selling a bunch of my clothes on Poshmark, so be sure to check out the description for my closet down there. I will show you some of the things in this video as well that I will have listed, but I am going to be selling some things on there. So. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars. So last year I cleaned out my closet and I sold a bunch of stuff on my Poshmark. You guys bought a lot of my stuff and it was so much fun seeing you guys send me messages from the things that you had purchased and I really wanted to thank you for that. It is the easiest way to make some extra cash and Poshmark is super easy to sell on. I love their app. I love buying on their app as well. I actually purchased my Louis Vuitton on there and they actually do a free um, like authenticity check for it. So when I bought it from her, she sent it to them. Them. They checked it to make sure it was authentic and then sent it to me. It was really fast too. So I love Poshmark. I use them all the time and I've made a lot of extra cash that way. So definitely check out the description box and there you will find the link where you can download their app. And I'm going to show in this video some of the things that I have for sale in my closet as well as how easy it is to post. So here I was just going through all of my dresses and my jeans. I got rid of a lot of them and then I had had them on those plastic hangers. And last year when I did this video, a lot of you recommended these velvet hangers. I got them off Amazon. I think it was 30 bucks for like, I don't know, there was a lot in that pack. I don't remember exactly how many, so I don't want to say. I will link them for you though in the description box if you're interested. And I love them because my clothes don't slip off of them and they don't leave like weird lines or anything. So I really have been enjoying them. Thank you guys so much for suggesting them and then I got these really cool hangers at Target it came in a pack of two and they're meant to hang your jeans on you could probably fit at least eight pairs of jeans on there just depending I guess on how you want to do it and how many you want to hang on there I think I got probably six pairs of jeans on there it looks like and I ended up only needing the two so I was really happy about that and they weren't very expensive at all And I did have a lot of people last year mention how many clothes I have and they seem to be really offended by it. And I just think that's kind of funny because I mean, what does it really matter how many clothes I have? It's not like I go shopping all the time and spend crazy amounts of money. I've had most of these shirts for years and years. I just have a real issue with holding on to things, but I am really, really happy that this year I was able to get rid of a lot of the stuff. So my closet looks so good now and it just feels amazing. So if you've been thinking about doing this yourself, definitely do it it didn't take me very long and also a mom tip I actually had my four-year-old in the bathtub right there is my bathroom and she was actually in the bathtub playing and watching bath toys on YouTube I don't know if you can see in the very right hand corner there is the iPad and there are kids playing with bath toys and bath water and stuff like that and she was playing in the bath while watching that and it kept her entertained so I was able to get a lot of this done and it really helped me so that's just a little mom tip for you about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place 
days where we don't know. So I thought it would be really fun if you guys wanted to share the name of your Poshmark closets below if you do have a Poshmark. That way everyone can kind of go through and see if maybe they want to shop anyone. So just leave your Poshmark name and then leave maybe like what you're selling on there, whether it be women's, men's, kids, and maybe the sizes. And that way if people think that they might want to look at it, then they can go check it out and maybe you guys can make some sales too. I'm done So I went to put back my shoes on the little shoe things that I have for them and I ended up changing that in the end and you will see it at the very end of the video what I ended up doing with them and I found out something about myself during this whole process and that is I really like brown shoes. <laughs> I have all brown shoes pretty much. I think I have one pair of black. So interesting thing that I found out about myself and I found it kind of funny. So I do like to hang my clothes according to what color they are. So I will do black and white and gray, pink, red, orange, yellow, and then I'll do like blue and green. And that's kind of how I've done it for years and years. This system has worked really well for me because when I go to look for a shirt, it's easier to find. I know like, okay, so today I wanna wear black. And so all my black are in one spot or if today I wanna wear pink, all my pink are in one spot. And I actually have been able to manage and like keep this way up for years and years. So that's just a little tip that I have for you. So you can see there on the floor all of the plastic hangers that are no longer in use. I put them upstairs in Maddie's closet for now. I'm probably gonna end up donating a lot of them, but that is like an extremely overwhelming site and relieving site all at the same time. I was really happy to be rid of all of those. And I decided in this process to quickly just go through my drawer here where I keep all of my like athletic stuff and a lot of the stuff in here is, I'm not even kidding you, probably some of it's 10 years, but don't tell anyone. I got rid of 99% of it. So I decided to put my shorts in there because I only had a few pairs and then I kept the leggings and the athletic shorts that I wanted. I think I had two athletic tops that I ended up keeping and then that was it. So it looks so much better. <laughs> So here you can see me posting some of my things for sale. It literally takes a matter of minutes to post something. I just take a couple of pictures of the item. I list what it is, a little description about it. They have categories that you can place them in. And so in all to post one item maybe takes two to three minutes. It's so simple and it's a great way to make some extra cash. I love Poshmark. I also love shopping on there. Like I said, I love designer handbags. I actually got this one on Poshmark. And once I got it, I wore it for a little bit, but it just kind of wasn't working for me. I'm not really a handbag kind of girl. I like a shoulder bag. And so I'm decided to go ahead and sell it. So it is on there now if you want to check it out. <laughs>
as you can see, my floor is completely bare. I decided to put my shoes on the top, which I'll show you in a second. And I decided to go ahead and put my jeans up with my long sleeves, and then I put my dresses down on the bottom there, and I also hung my bag that I use when I travel. And I'm really happy with it. It's not necessarily the prettiest closet in the world, but it's very functional, and it's very, like, not cluttered, I guess. And here are my lovely brown shoes. I did end up putting my sandals into a basket and I'm okay with that. It works for me. It might not work for you. Of course, everybody's different and you can do things the way that works best for you. But I feel like I can just bring that basket down and kind of look through, decide what sandals I want to wear that day. I know which ones I have, so I don't necessarily need to see them. But I'm showing you here before, this is what it looked like. It was a mess, very cluttered. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to check out the description box for any links about anything that I mentioned in this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and leave me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.